Hello, welcome to Kate's Aid. Today we are going to the United Grain Elevator in Conrad, Montana. They have big, big grain piles of wheat on the ground. So we're going to see how they get it off the ground and into the semis. And I thought it'd be a really cool thing to show you because it's kind of an interesting process. So I hope you enjoy the video. to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Right now we're just coming up to the elevator. As you can see, it's right there. The super, super tall bins. And there's the United Grain sign. We just got to the elevator and now I'm going to be showing you how they get all of this huge pile of grain off the ground into the semi and off to the ships and one day onto your table. They've got a semi just leaving right now, all filled with grain. As you can see here, this is the huge pile and I might even insert a picture from when I was all the way on top of those bins and looking down on this pile, it looks like they already have maybe a quarter of it away. My dad's going to get some drone footage for you, which is super awesome. My dad really loves doing the drone. Here they have another semi truck coming in because they really want to get this pile off the ground. And they've been kind of stopping other people from hauling all the grain they want to haul just so they can get this off the ground. I got a lot of questions on how they get this wheat off the ground into the semis and why they put it on the ground. So I thought this would be a great video to share with you kind of that process and also explain a little more about why they put that wheat on the ground. Now, when all of those huge, huge bins fill up, which there is a ton of space, they want to keep the farmers going at harvest time so that everyone can get their grain hauled in, which is awesome. But when they have overflow, they have to put it on the ground like this, which we've had to do this actually before at the farm too. And I'll explain that story because it's kind of a cool one in a little bit. And I'll maybe even insert a picture of me standing in front, but we did it with barley, not wheat. This pile right here is spring wheat. So it is a risk to put your grain on the ground, but it's not the craziest risk ever. I mean, it's something you definitely have to think about, but at the end of the day, the pros outweigh the cons for keeping everyone going at harvest. Wheat or any kind of grain, when you put it on the ground, which I think a lot of people don't know, it creates a barrier for itself basically, and the grain won't rot because we have had rain and snow. But if someone disturbs part of the grain pile, a person walking on it or an animal or something like that, that's when the grain kind of separates and it will start to mold in that area. And as you can see, they're really prioritizing getting it off the ground, which is super important. I don't know if you can see that right there, but the wheat's kind of going down and it's dragging the wheat into this auger that belts it up into the semi and then it has that spout on it that will move back and forth to put the grain in one side and then the other so it kind of spins around and that's super cool. So dad said he would love to have one of these if we did a lot of picking grain up off the ground like that because it's just really amazing. My dad's drone is right there, that little dot right there above the grain auger. So he's gonna get lots of great drone footage. this really is and it's it's quite amazing if you really think about it and the above view was absolutely incredible beautiful views again today in Montana I just cannot even believe the views every day 
living here. I mean, it's just phenomenal. Such wide open spaces. a fun thing to show you so make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you learned something new in this video as the grain gets sucked up by that auger it moves down that slope of grain you can kind of see it slowly moving and then it goes up that auger and out this spout right here that can move different directions If you think this elevator is super interesting, I did a video on it because commercial elevators are really cool. So you'll have to check that out. It's called How Farmers Make Money because it really is how we make money. We grow our grain on the farm, we plant our grain, we grow it, and we harvest it, and then we bring it to an elevator like this one right here. And that's how our grain turns into dollars on kind of what quality and grade the grain is. Unless the grain gets disturbed, it will not rot. So that's kind of an interesting little kind of fun farm fact, I guess. Not this last harvest that I videoed, but the harvest before that. So my first harvest I ever drove combine when I was 15. We harvested barley, but we didn't have enough space in the bins for it. So we had to make a huge, well, not nearly as huge as this one, huge to us. So very small compared to this one, but a barley pile on the ground. It made for lots of fantastic photos. Our grain and our barley pile, we made sure we got it off the ground before it rained. But that's kind of an interesting story. So uh, I have some photos of the barley pile and me standing in front of it so you can get an idea of how big it was. And I'll put it right here. This pile of wheat had 633,000 bushels in it and they've already hauled about 300,000 of those bushels off. So that's very cool. And here there's another semi coming in. Since Tuesday, they've hauled about 300,000 of those bushels off. So the pile's gotten substantially smaller and that's not very long. So about, I think four days and they've already gotten this much done. So that's awesome. Here you can see that the grain loading auger just kind of folded out and they've got all this wheat here. It's actually very cool. As you can see, so see all of this wheat is good here. Big rut. The amount of grain storage they have here is just even, I, it's hard to imagine just how much these hold. Now dad's going to land the drone on the pickup. And you did it. I would say that was a pretty good landing. Look. <laughs> transport and you're hauling the grain away from the big grain pile correct yeah and we just jeremy and i just started this uh well last week this is something we kind of came up with oh that's very cool bought, bought the machine and got an au online auction and went down to wichita and got it it's and, an awesome machine yeah we we're pretty happy with it uh, that was the problem nobody knew anything about one never seen one so we didn't know what we we're getting into exactly. Of course, we had to buy a tractor for it. Yes. So yeah, but you know, with kind of the way things are right now, economy, we could try something different. Definitely. Well, that's great. So thank you so much. All right. Well, thanks for interviewing me. So you're welcome. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and share it with everyone you know. It really helps me. And also, thank you so much for everyone you sent something to my P.O. box and all of the fabulous letters. I love them so much, so thank you. So thank you again. Okay, bye.